Yeah. We're, we're at 27. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There's a bunch of them, 9. Yeah, there's, there's a lot. You, you, just, you just went live? I just went live. Nice. I did say I was going live. No, I did say I'm going live. Are you, were you, you were giving out of what happened to sign into the video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm only half with it, so... Okay, never mind. Uh, right, yeah, no, so we have to pick up... I, I'm in the middle of doing... Um, corn and sunflower contracts. Okay. And then thinking... Although you're on no, so... Most, but thinking of spending nearly sixty grand on the wheat header. Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Okay. But uh, I want to see it when all the stuff is back in it. <laughs> um. Yeah. Do you know that nine meter one that has its own wheels? Uh, yep. And that we to stay out towards our because there's always corn and. Um, there's always corn and our sunflower as well as the normal header. Uh huh. So uh, if we own one, it's not the John Deere one, no. Uh, if we own one, we can um, rent one harvester. It's a corn header. No, what? it's a grain header. Uh, okay. It's the Basel Mash one, the nine meter. Yeah. I think it's, I think having up the yesterday was 56 or 58,000. Rosal well, Mash 5 meter, and the 9 no, it's, meter it's is there. Uh, yep, yep. Uh, but it's it. got its own, that's the one that has its own wheels. Mm hmm. And 9 meters is big enough, but it's not too big. So buying, uh, buying the Rosal Mash and that uh, header is the. Well, no, just buy the header for now. Um. Because what I'm saying is, if we have the header, mm -hmm. we can take a, uh, a oh. corn or sunflower. Yeah, and lease, job, lease in the uh, equipment. Uh, lease the equipment, but choose the header. So, like, I have a harvester with a header at the moment. Yeah. Uh, what is that? What was it? So, so, like, if we buy the header, we can then, um, like, we loan the header, mm -hmm. but we can uh, go. What is um, that long collision thing on? Uh, it uh, should be on the latest. Uh, oh, that's uh, or, or you could just, if you're searching for it on, in your downloads, you could just no, go I'm by latest. Looking for it in um, the action, because. I installed the other one. Oh. Uh, I installed the other one, and then instead of me starting farms, if you put it in your folder and then mm -hmm. download a mod, and then it'll start up, and then it'll accept the mod that you put in. Yeah. Um, so that's installed. So <coughs> I done. Yes. Hello. Uh, yeah. Recording that, uh, just so you know. Okay. Uh, yeah. Did you did you go on to request yesterday? You did, didn't you? Because you was waiting for people to come on. Never mind. I was off with it towards the end of, that, uh, of yesterday. Um, yeah, I did. Did any did anybody come on, or did you have to go on another server? Nah, I had to go to another server. Okay, that's weird. What we're down to two maples now. Plus three this morning. To me, what? Oh, on the servers, okay. It's a shit map, that's why. Nobody wants to play it anymore. It's a small map, it's very hard. There's, there's not enough to do in multiplayer, it's so small. Yeah. So. But yeah, so we need collect all the bales. Yeah, I've just um, picked up a trailer load. So all the silage is done and then there's another um, the rest of the baling ones then are all hey. so all the stuff is parked in field 40 Yeah. ready to go. Um, the other ones are what, hay bales? 
Yeah, so, they're all hay bales. Okay. Or will become hay bales. Is that yeah, is there like a reason? We haven't, take, we haven't taken them yet. All the missions are for hay. Oh. As in, I like, split them. We, we don't know. I like, took all the silage ones. Oh, uh, okay. Yesterday. Yeah. And we, and we done them. Well, cut them and got as far as bale, or baled everything. Mm hmm. Um, and then I, I started doing the harvest missions and such as all hay missions to do because we can only kind of do it one at a time anyway so yeah So I reduce my settings to medium and there is no difference. Still get them mini stutters. So going from high to me uh, from very high to me uh, to I don't <laughs> think yeah, I don't think it's I don't get it. I, I've changed my down as well and it makes it. I don't get the stutters but uh, But you you, you drive in the cab, point. don't you? Uh, sometimes. Yeah, whereas I game in the cab, outside of the cab. Why well, did I, I go this way? I lose 10 FPS going in the cab, like, but... Mm-hmm. And so I'm driving around, generally in cab, I'm harvesting like I am now, generally outside the cab. Yeah. I, I, I took a detour down to the village store, where the dealers, I don't know why, but... Looks good there. <coughs> you know. It hasn't changed since the last time I was down there, which was like five minutes ago. What? That would explain why I didn't have to upload a new map then, wouldn't it? <laughs> yep. The, if it all goes well, sometime next week this map will get released. Version 2 will be out there. I'm waiting until version 3 so for the animated gates, right? I'm hoping that before then the version of Giants will be released out of huh? beta. And. Yeah. And, uh. See Mark and oh, we'll have. You gotta go out. Uh, turn and we'll Go have um, Go. we'll have the the, animation. the animations and the the no um, bush will will be gone. Well, I wouldn't worry about the no bush because at the end of the day, that's mm. just the map. Mm -hmm. They can't fall ship on having that error, like yeah. And if they do, then I ask for new testers that know what they're doing. Mm -hmm. But um, it will definitely be put in the description. You could always go for sensors. The panzer doesn't. That doesn't have it. You could have that color textures. <laughs> I, I will definitely that would make the map very big, couldn't it? Because uh, all that's why this, that map is what seven hundred. Yeah. Because all those textures are obviously within the map. Mm hmm. Yeah, because it was meant to have been part of the base game originally, wasn't it? That that was the plan, but because well, they did get no, have it they ready. Said that there would be three, there, they said there would be three giants maps, I think, as opposed oh. to what they were specifically said. There will be three maps in game. Yeah. And like people give out about it, uh, like that's however much of the, the amount you can have on an Xbox. Well, if it was part of the game, it would be using up power drive space on your Xbox anyway. Yep. <laughs> So are you not better off to have three quarters of a gig not in the, not on your hard drive and have it if you want it? Yep.
So the, uh, the silage bales took a, a massive drop then. <laughs> but again, we have done a lot of silage bales. Oh, it's in price-wise, is it? Yeah. Yeah, see, it, may, it might be worth doing uh, hay off our own fields, e e and even at this stage. Mm -hmm. Just to fire something else. Yeah. In. Someone, I think. Uh, nope. Oh, hang on. Is that one over there? Because it wasn't our field that had the silage bales, was it? No. No, there's uh, well, there's no the silage bales. They're fifty, sixty-one. 48, 37, 28, and 15. Yeah. Now I'm driving into our fields going, where are the silage bales gone? No. It's like, there on, is I one beyond connect. that. There is one beyond that, though. <laughs> As in 48 is down that way. Yeah. I'm in 48 now, That's because this is where it was, and I didn't pay attention to what field I came out of after, fill it, after loading up, so I assumed it was one of ours. <laughs> I had a very, very late night. We ended up watching like three horror movies, and I fell asleep through the first one. So, so, so you had a very early morning, so? Yeah. Um, um, I fell asleep through the first one. I was like, I turned around to my nephew and I went, "Has that been skipping or something?" He went, eh? I went, "Well, the first time I, I, you know, I was sitting here and it was they was both on the moors and and because he wanted to watch that movie, The American Wealth in London, and uh, it was um, and they got attacked by the wolf, uh, by the werewolf. And now he's in hospital, getting ready to be released. Uh, where, where's all the, you know?" Where's all the rest of it? And he went, mm, no. And then uh, a few minutes later, fucking, the the next thing I know, the werewolf fucking gain shot. <laughs> and it's, it's the end of the movie. It's like, where's the rest of the fucking movie gone? You fell asleep. I, I did. I, I, I've, I watched the whole movie. You, you watched all of it. It didn't skip at all. No. Okay. <laughs> Good movie. <laughs> the next yeah, one... The um, yeah, the next one. It means you get to watch it multiple times. It does. I, in fact, I have been watching it multiple times. I haven't watched uh, all of it yet. And I've, it's been on quite a few times. Yeah, it's nothing bad when you sit down and watch a movie and you get in for the first 10 minutes. You go, fuck it, this movie looks good. And then you get half a shot and you go, should I have seen this before? <laughs> or, 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 or when you watch the, like, you get to the end of a movie. But that looks interesting. I'm just watch that, and you take down the name. But then the next time you go, I've seen everything, but I haven't seen seen the end of it. Mm -hmm. The the other movie was Thirteen Hours. Um, I watched the beginning and the end. Didn't see the middle. And the other movie was Silver Bully. All werewolf movies. I didn't see any of that. When we, I don't even remember we what that was about. Great movie, like, uh, when we do Sky Movies, she used to give a note to me because I, I quite happily watch the last 10 minutes of a film. Yeah. Or, 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 or then I'd be watching the start of it, like, and fall asleep, or it's like that, and I would go, hang on, I've seen this film before. <laughs> well, at least. I have, a, I have a head, you see, this very, like, I'll watch it, enjoy it, ask me five minutes later what, what was the film about. Um, Mm-hmm. Couldn't help. Me. Yep. <clears throat> so you're in what thirty six, did you say? I'm Jesus. in thirty six, yeah, so the bales are in thirty seven. Yeah. There's a lot you of have flashing 61 in. 61 as well. You have 61 and 48 up by the fair. So we've got three different cell points got flashing down here. Yeah, because we have... Um, oh, the cotton, yeah. Never mind. We have cotton as well, yeah. 
Yeah. So, word for fight, if anyone doing multi missions, don't do multi cotton missions. <laughs> yeah. Unless you want to free harvest, so to sit on your farm. Which kind of makes it worthwhile then, doesn't it? Well, true. But yeah, um, so we have three selling points because we have the grains, the, the bales, and cotton. So, I mean, in, in theory. Oh, you know, it's a wood ship mission. In theory, it would actually be beneficial to actually buy a cotton field, harvest it, sell the field back after harvesting it, and then sell the cotton. Yeah, bale a little, like bale them in small bales. Till you get that mission finished. No, I'm on about actually buying the field, and then once you've once right, you've harvested it, sell it, sell it back. You, you, you put bales, like put them in a thousand or whatever. Oh yeah. To clear that mission. Yeah, because unfortunately it doesn't spread so well across the multiple missions, unlike bales yeah, and so things if like you, that. If you put them in bales of a thousand, sell that if it clears the mission. Mm -hmm. Or like you tell because obviously whatever it is at the moment. So if you put a bale of a thousand in, it takes three quarters of it out. Well, then you only need. 300 or 400 at the next one yeah clear that mission harvest the rest of it sell it ourselves which should give us a good price and mm -hmm. you said that and, and then flog the field yeah back again mm -hmm. you don't lose money do you when you flog a field back no no you get the exact same money back again don't you, you you do so uh field flipping is definitely a thing Not like the bank of Hagenstadt, which you buy a field and then to take, uh, um, it would take more, like you'd sell it back again and you'd end up three quarters to lose that. Mm hmm. Well, it'll be back there in a minute. Yep. Really? No bales left here? Okay. Never mind. So what? Thank you, autosave. Uh, harvesting. Baling. Uh, into silage. Into silage. So 65, 28. 37 and 15 65 is there okay our old field interesting now and we'll dump this trailer full of sunflowers because it theoretically has what should be three missions in it okay and see how well that actually pans over all of the I missions did, i didn't dump it for the case in case we ran into issues with missions mm -hmm. so just left it full 
Yeah. At the end of the day, you can always sell it. Um, so yeah, by the time it's full, it'll have... I have two and this one is nearly done. So I would say it should nearly cover the three missions and then whatever we have left should be ours. Yeah. So we'll find that out in a minute. So is this actually a new Rosal Marsh or is it one that was in 17 to 330? Not sure. I don't think I ever used it in 17. It's handy you don't have to actually unfold it. Oh, what, the, the, the grain header? Yeah, there's no unfold, like it doesn't... Okay. The grain tank doesn't have an open top, like. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's only got a 4,500 litre capacity, which... is probably a bit on the small side, I suppose, but... Hmm. It's a nice little size. It's Gets but the job done. You don't that's have to worry, nonsense. but you don't have to worry about catching on trees and that around the edge of the map or the edge of their field. Mm-hmm. Because the height of it is the height of it. So if the front goes through, the rest of it goes through. Yeah. Hi, Jeff. Welcome to the stream, mate. be back on here late the later this afternoon doing more <laughs> streaming um for a farm sim sunday so but yeah the, um i think I, I only use the new holland combines in 17. i work uh, no, I used the rose mash, but I like that. The, the, well, I don't think it was the one six one that we have now, but it was a, it was a giant mod, but it was separate. Mm -hmm. and that had. The yeah, I remember that one. I think. And when I was that's, this, that's the one that. Uh, I think it was possibly it, the one sixty, and then the one now is one six one. It was like a I, bit. It was a mod. It's 17, but it's... Yeah, it was a giant release to the mod. It could be the same one. But, like, when I was testing this in 17, um, that's what I used, was the that, that harvester, because you didn't need a trailer, but at the same time, you have a 9-meter header. Yeah. And it moves around, and, and like the combine is a bit on the big side, but it's still got around this map, no problem. <clears throat> um. And in 
and 17 that was fighting with the hired helper in all the fields south of the main road. They didn't get any of the ones above it. Might have my computer down and see if it just needs a good clean. Or could we just clean the internal thing? Mm hmm. You're not running hot or anything, are you? No. No. But because I have the side open all the time. Alright. No, no, no. You open mine when it gets hot. Mm hmm. No, I'm 65. We've already done uh, 48. Back to 65. I like because the sunflower is not the easiest thing to see on this background with the sun shining in that way. You know, I should have done while I was flying around yesterday, and I had the um, flying mod, uh, the flying should thingy taken, activated. Should yeah. have taken a picture. Should have taken some pictures because I could have turned the hood. Well, yeah, I could have turned the hood off. Yeah, because that's what I was saying to you yesterday that when I looked over at the stream, it looked like I was looking at a real-time PDA. Mm -hmm. So I will do that tonight if there's enough of us on and we've got a lot of busy things going on and I can take five minutes out. I will go and do that. <coughs> Get a couple of shap uh, snaps of people at work. And it's probably on the wrong place for that because I'll have suggested there was pictures of people standing around looking at them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh. There was that side. Oh, I've got to come back to this field just to get two bales, it looks like. Yeah. Yeah, Jeez. Kevin reckon he had a few invisible bales. Okay. I haven't come uh, across one yet. He was doing stuff. No, they could be because it's reset. They may be back. Mm hmm. But he, he drove over one, I think he said. Okay. And then, I think one of the ones he actually made, he said he couldn't see. I've had one where I was, it, it dropped out of the baler into the wrapper and it was invisible. So it was wrapping an invisible ba bale. And then it dropped the invisible bale when, because it was uh, beeping and, it, and uh, I stopped and it was full at that point, but it wouldn't unload that bale out of the chamber onto the wrapper because apparently there was already one on the wrapper. Right. And uh, I unloaded that and it stays, still remained invisible. Invisible. It's a word now. Alright. Maybe that's the one that he rolled over, so... This was... Uh, no, this was when I first came on doing bales, uh, when you came on. And... Because um, after I got out of the vehicle and oh, came so back, it was, it was there again. So, was that? Yeah. Yeah, because I wasn't here for the uh, all these bales being wrapped last night. No. Well, that's because I cut all the grass. Kevin bailed them. Mm -hmm. And then, because he was still doing them, I said, oh, I'll go I'll do some missions. And took all the corn missions and sunflower missions. Yeah. So, uh, there's a question, Jeff. Is there a problem in, um, in console on the Xbox with uh, invisible ba bales? Well, I see, well, oh, round bales for Defnex, we don't know about Square, we haven't used Square yet. Yeah, we've only had, um, this with multiplayer. No, I haven't done a whole lot with bales in single player either, but... Mm -hmm. In what I did in single player, I didn't have any issues. I know floating bales is an issue, in single player as well. Is it? Mm -hmm. So they've obviously done something to try and tweak. I wonder um, if it's just the round bales because they've tried to make it so they don't roll so easily haven't they? 
Maybe. Maybe square bales worked as they did in 17, but round or, you know, because they're little tweaks to them. Uh, right, where are you? I'm down at the uh, cell points. Alright, make sure you're on the right side of the road because I'm coming down to the cell point. Okay. Well, I'm going up to the T junction there from the sheep side. Even though there's no sheep there anymore, but from the sheep side. Well, we, we, we remember it as the sheep zone, sheep farm being so there. I just turn now at the junction, so I'm coming down the road. Mm hmm. Yeah, I'm just getting ready to come out of the store area. And we'll meet just around about the corner. Or just before yeah. the corner. So I'll take it slower coming up so you can get around the corner. I'll try and stand my waist like that. As I look for my button and go on your side of the road. Yeah, I, <laughs> that's the one button I haven't got <laughs> mapped to my wheel. So I have to look over oh. to the keyboard <laughs> every time. Well, I map mm. mine to um, the down D pad. How are we doing? We're doing okay. Um, we're just getting, you know, we just decided to jump on and uh, do a bit more work, get some of the stuff done ready for tonight when we all jump on. So, I must watch this now, is it? If it will tell me we need it. Yep. Okay, there, 41 finished. 36. 36 finished. And not the last one. Okay. Is there any more sunflower? Oh, there's nearly a tank of... There's actually a full tank of stuff there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll be uh, um, seven... And stuff still in the field. Yeah, it'll be uh, uh, 7 p.m. UK time. So, our normal time. <clears throat> and there, there could be a couple of us, at me at least, streaming. Yeah, so we're at ninety-two percent now of the last field of sunflower. Mm, okay, awesome. I have I have forty four and a half thousand in the harvester, I think, and then um, whatever left is left in the field. So, mm -hmm. but at least you know with one trailer, we know the one trailer will hold all the missions for the week or for the this stuff, the stuff you're selling. Yeah. I guess because it's not. Off as you do it. I guess because it's yeah, not one solid object. But you see, Ooh, I think I that was like. I think bale, like I don't see why the cotton bales don't do the same. Mhm. Mm like take, it's a bale. Take X amount out of it. Yeah. Especially when it obviously looks for a percentage of a bale. Mhm. Mm job looks for it doesn't look for a bale. It looks for so many liters yeah it's because when you do cotton well the way it was but the other answer to that then is if it's only looking for a bale well do a bale of a 500 liters it gives you a bale sell that then do the rest of it and sell it as your own so 37 no. 15 I did, oh no i did actually finish the field sorry so the field is actually done so I'm not quite full the harvest I wasn't, I couldn't remember if it was full or not, so... I know in real life with the module builders, instead of having it in the machine... Rise 15, You'd add... Sometimes you'd end up with a little bitty one at the end yeah. of the field because they don't move it field, don't take cotton to a different field. Yeah, see, I'd like that, well, it's something like that because I'd like the, the smaller... Like, a, a smaller cotton harvester. A smaller cotton harvester, maybe... Either a trailer, a trailer, like either a, a smaller, a smaller couple of raw one or a trailed one. I don't ever remember seeing a trailed one. <laughs> uh, see, I'm sure it's, if you look on the internet, uh, but they'd be kind of old ones. I can I remember them being on John Deere A's and Farm yeah. All M's and <laughs> all that. But well, I think they probably went from trail to, like, if you look on the internet, they kind of trailed ones and then they basically bodged them into an existing tractor to make them self-drive. 
like the real early ones, but they'd only be one or two rows. Right, so you're nowhere near the self point here. Nope. No, I'm going to 37. Get that. So what have I got? I have 3,907 uh, litres. So finish off that mission, which is at 92%, and then the rest is airs. Mm -hmm. That's a yeah, lot 15. tighter than I expected. But then this is the back way into... There's only one way into 37 then. Uh, yeah. 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 Hopefully... And uh, no, I'll end up having to come back to get another load. And then 15's right down by the store, so... Right, there's 39 finished and we made 936 in harvest income. Okay. So that that thing is handy that it doesn't pause when you pause it, but it's annoying at times when you forget about it. You're yeah. tearing across the air. <laughs> yep. You're like hit the thing and you go, I'm still moving. Uh, you know something I've only just realised. Something I didn't take any attention to and we was all saying that's the one thing I want changed in nineteen over seventeen. Well, doesn't pause you when you fucking get a great demand. Yeah. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't. No. No. Did we get a great demand? We did yesterday. Remember when I said oh, that's yeah, the first great demand? But like, it doesn't it pause. Do my G yeah, but it means I'd be able to do my GPS now and do whatever I'm doing in the menu. Yeah. Because it shouldn't stop, hopefully. Right, so corn is 60. 26. 58. They're all big, so 60, 26, <coughs> 60, it's there. Oh, I don't know if you need a pen and paper to try these things. 60, 58, and 26. 60, 58. Oh, they're right beside each other there. Uh, well, down near Coming into the store. Yeah, I'm parked at the store. Yeah, so that's where it's just, <laughs> just in case he was about to come out. I'm happy 28, so I must be 26, so 26 is there, and to get to 26, I need to go up. Oh, that's not too bad, that's just up beyond where I am at the moment. I was going to say that's a different colour field than I'm in at the moment, but sure it is this car. Right. Oh yeah, I was actually sorry. I, I said I was on the. I had extracted myself from the trees and stopped there. Because <laughs> I was on the way back out in the yard when I was like hit the menu to see where I needed to take the tractor to. Mhm. Mm and realised I was heading for the trees. Come on, fold up. It takes forever for that arm to fold oh. up. Head tracker, cups of coffee. I'll have to become left hand and drink coffee with my left hand. <laughs> you need a button where it stops head tracker from working on your wheel, so when you take a sip, your head doesn't move or the, no, the, the camera no, doesn't move. No, it's not, it's not, it's not, the sun is reflecting on the cup. Ah, so as I lift my cup up, I get extra freaking mm -hmm. extra points. sun. <laughs> Because in the kitchen we only... Sometimes, like sometimes what happens is when you lift your hand up, you'll block the the view, like if you scratch your head now or move your headset or whatever. Mm -hmm. And um, so what happens is you turn your head but nothing happens. Yeah. Whereas if you get extra lights, kids running behind, you know, or things like that, that um, causes it to go from in. Well, because in the kitchen we only... I have... I use only uh, uh, under the surface uh, light, so it's under the under the uh, wall cupboard, because um, I don't like you know main lights. And Zach was like, "Well, it's dark in here, Dad. I can't see." I went, "Well, you, you know that there's another there's a cure for that. 
So I got the roll of foil. Open uh, your eyes. I got uh, the roll of foil and put that underneath and reflected the light out. And I went, look, it's all nice and bright in here now. And he went, that isn't what you use foil for, though. I was like, nope, it works just as well. You foiled his plan. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> foiled again. Um, yep, you, you can lift up. Uh, what's the time? Two o'clock. After I get done farming, I might jump on a bit of breakfast. Hmm. Uh, they join you. Mm -hmm. Definitely welcome to uh, 15, 15, 15, way into oh, 15. It's definitely down here. I don't know. I guess I'm guilty. I really like that that uh, ideal combine in 19. I'm not going to trade it. Ah, that's for a big one. It holds 17,100 liters. Pe for people are giving out and it doesn't have a big head. Nobody's made it yet. I mean, I, 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 I don't know how long the, the actual pipe has done it, but I mean, I'm assuming, like, it's second farm sim is mix and match. You don't have to use the header it comes with, like. Well, Custom Farming put out their version of it with a foldable auger. Right. And it, you could put, put the 40, meter. you could put a 45 on it, yeah. But then send that, like, on fields like this, a like, on a map like this, a 12 meter he header would be plenty big. Yeah. And 12 like meter header ain't bad. The fact that you can put, you can fill 17,000 liters, and it means you, you could probably do a couple of fields without having to have a tractor following you around. Like. And There's the like other thing goes. is, you can harvest at nine miles an hour in some of the cereal crops. Right, but like this, the Rosal Mash 330, which is what I have at the moment. <laughs> yeah. Like it, it holds four and a half thousand. Which even on fields in this isn't enough to do a field. Right, a couple of loads like left on here. The ideal is fairly big as well, though, isn't it? Uh, <clears throat> I guess I I'm guilty because I watched a lot of stuff on the in real life one. The, the ideal. I watched a lot of promotional videos and people that had got the chance to demo it and. See to me, a harvest is a harvest, so you're driving in the field and knock all the crap down. Eh. Um, that ain't gonna work. Don't, don't try that. It's neat to see people, what people think of it, though. Well, but I suppose that's the farm same thing, isn't it? Like, people are just, the uh, header's not big enough. I need a 50-foot header to do my field in two minutes. Nah, they need to add a, what is that, a 60 foot head. That does miles an hour. Yeah. And a machine that holds a million liters, you know. Yeah. And then pulls a baler behind it with a, with, with, with a pickup thing that automatically sells. Oh, never mind. Now it makes sense why we didn't get, we wasn't gaining money for the bales. When I said the bales have took a, you know, a massive dump, it's because they yeah, ain't our bales. Not, <laughs> yeah. them, I'm looking up, going, no, well, hang on, how can we only go two thousand? We were making money. No, yeah. that that that's because I got nine hundred quid off the off the yeah crop. I'm not completely with it yet, still. <laughs> Yeah, it's, but, yeah. it's a great return, like, is it's, well, I suppose it's 300 a field. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It's one of those things, isn't it? You're definitely going to make a lot more money if you own it yourself over the cost of actually well, working that field as with, well. With the multiple contracts, like, I just scanned through them. I think I'm paying 140 or 160, I can't remember. Yeah. For this harvester and tractor and trailer. Mm-hmm. 
because I just took I think the mission that I took it on is worth like 700 quid yeah which isn't a whole amount but it means you get the free you get the cheap equipment for the rest of the missions I was expecting that to be a bit further up there I don't know why I actually slap at night I don't know what to do with myself <laughs> stay up now don't go back to bed yeah otherwise you've been knackered again tonight and won't sleep I, I think I got off the computer around midnight and I slept until around 7 so I could sleep so you're not getting hit by that storm are you going across America no not that I know of It's come up from Mexico, and it's obviously if Trump had built the wall, it would have stayed in Mexico. But <laughs> <laughs> we could only get so lucky. So I presume that'll be his next view on why he needs a wall, because this storm that's causing havoc across America came from Mexico. But yeah, it's a serious storm. Like it's. Started off, I think, rain down there and it's turned to snow and stuff. There can 10 inches of snow in Washington today or something. Oh, hell. Yeah. So I must have just missed you, so coming up that route. Yeah. correctly this time. because I left it by the entrance but this is the field that has two entrances <laughs> the unusual field well it's the one that loops or like well I, okay there, there's many fields have two entrances because you go in one end and out the other end mm -hmm. this is the field that you can go in and loop around and come back out from. yeah Well, I got one thing to admit. At least, when I thought that, you know, you build your own farm, I thought there would be flat places to do it. But, but with, the, with the train editing, no. Yeah. It costs, it costs you money, yes, but you can get a nice, like, if you look on YouTube, there, there's some pe if you spend time and think about it, like, there's some nice people, like, from what you see people do. Yeah. I mean, if you use the smoothing train, if you can get, like, level the ground before you put a building down or whatever it's... <laughs> it's, a, it's a work in progress is the way I look at it. It needs yeah. more buildings. Yeah, it definitely needs more buildings. Better implementation, but I mean, it's a start. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I just thought that <laughs> when they I mean, said they were everyone... going to give you areas, you know... Felsburn had a pretty good area to start well, with. Well, I suppose but... the default map, yes, but then that's the whole point is you don't need a flat area to place a building. Yeah. And with all the pla placeables that were in there, you always needed a, a completely flat spot to place them or they didn't place or they'd cause serious issues. They'd be floating, they'd be whatever. Yeah. You see, I was never a big fan of placeable stuff. Because you had I mean, to you have. Were got, they were either floating, or you got the some some of them 
would come with like a, a really big base on them. They would or be in the ground. <laughs> but then you'd end up with a, like a, a, a 60 degree angle of a slope to get up to them. Like that little spot you have on Riverview as you come over the, the bridge, trying mm. to fit there. Yeah. When you come over the bridge, and I had cleared all the trees out to put, what was it, the compost master there? Mm hmm. And you put it in, and one end is like 10 foot in above the ground, and the other bit is under the ground. Yeah. So a little bit of smooth in there now, and you'd fit, it'd be a lovely spot to put a big place over there. Mm hmm. And that you... first. First thing with that that uh, terrain tool didn't turn out so well. <laughs> but it's practice, then. Mm -hmm. I mean, it means you don't have to go into GE. Is that a good thing? Well, yeah. Well, it depends on. But I bet you, if you went into GE, you wouldn't be making any better a go at it then. Yeah. And if you've cut a bunch of trees down and you go into GE, making some changes and then put the map, update your map to that, you, you end up with, again, yeah. yeah, and you can have um, foliage that was originally sitting where you'd modified floating in the air. Yeah, I think being able to do it in game is, I, I mean, I like the whole placeable thing. Is yeah. it 100% right? No. But is it something that should get better with time? Definitely. I'm still the fastest. It hurts. I'm not going to eat it. Yeah, we'll backwards start that. That's the way we want to go. Who's not going to eat, eat what? Zach's <laughs> 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 down here. Kai's still upstairs. Hmm. I have to go and check on him in case he's fell asleep. I'm just looking at your stream there. So the tractor does bounce up and down for you while you're in first person view. Yeah. It's not just the head tracker causing that. Okay. What's that? I thought maybe it was something wrong with the head okay. tracker doing that. Ah, uh, so it's not just a problem on my end. So it's not uh, dust or I something related. I would say related. it's to do with the ground response. Mm, maybe. Or like the bouncy to make it feel like you're bouncing in the seat. Oh no no! Um, I'm about the mini stutters where you'll be driving forward and then all of a sudden you take a sudden, s you get that stutter where you jump back. I don't jump back. I get lag spikes, but not like it'll just kind of pause and then go again. But I don't guess. Mhm. Mm I, I I don't get rubber banded. And... As in, I'm just on about the bounciness of the as you're going down, your view is bouncing. Yeah. yeah that, that. Like you're running a default because you're hardly moving the mouse up and down as you're driving down the road. Mm -hmm, yeah, I'm not even touching the mouse while driving where's in a straight line. Head track, where, where's with the head tracker? Maybe I do bounce up and down the road as I go down the road, <laughs> up and down as I go down. I'd mm -hmm. like to have one of those head trackers for a ATS and ETS. I think it'd be interesting. Yeah, it does. I mean, triple screens, yeah, but I find that with the head tracker, it's it's not triple screens, but it does the same thing. Yeah. I mean, with triple screens, okay, you physically turn your head to go over. Well, with a head tracker, you don't, you physically turn your head, just not to the same extent. Yeah. Because you're still looking at your main monitor, obviously, but no, it does the job. Like, it's... A lot cheaper than three monitors. Yeah, that's. Fact, I'd like to be able to uh, look, you know, be able to turn my head monitor. and look. Then have to yeah, use the mouse. A lot less freaking taxing on your GPU and all that. Uh, I need bail spikes. Yeah, I'd just uh, like to be able to do that instead of having to turn the mouse to look at an intersection. Well, what I used to, what I done then was before I done it was I set up three buttons: look left, look right, and look forward. Hmm. So instead of turning the mouse, you just hit the button. I, I had them on the wheel. So you hit the button if you're going like you hit a button, look out your left window, hit a button, look out your right window, hit another button, you're looking forward again. Yeah. Or even when you're looking around with the mouse and then you want to look at that sweet spot, spot forward again, which I always have trouble lining up again, you just hit the button, you're automatically looking forward. Hmm. 
And even with the head tracker down, I still yeah. have a, a fast button to look forward, looking cab, which my my looking cab is to look directly forward. But that's what I had. That's what I did. Was I had uh, like you don't see kind of between center and side, but you see, and instead of having it look left, it's it's a view that's kind of it, it looks slightly forward, but to the left or right. Yeah. So you're not looking directly out the side window. You're kind of looking beyond the pillar, kind of gives you a better view for the corner. I said I had them buttoned and it made it an awful lot easier to, to see where you were going and for corners and stuff. Whereas with the head tracker down, and you know this from being a real life driver, so the way your your, your pillar will get in the way or something will be in yeah. the way. So like, you're <laughs> looking at me here, I have my head nearly up to the screen because it will move you forward in the truck. Or yeah, you do I, that in real life too. <laughs> well, that's what I'm saying. I can sit here and look for, like, lean forward to the screen like I can literally look around the panel beside me or, or the panel on the passenger side or like I can look around the pillar to see what the lights are behind my mirror or the other one is you know the, especially in American trucks you know the highlight the lights that are on the above the road that you yeah. can squat you can squat down in the chair lean forward and look under the Look under the, like, look through your windscreen to look up at them if you're too close to them. Yeah. Uh oh. Because, like, even with a triple screen, you can't do things like that. Hmm. I have to look into getting one sometime. No, yeah, they're not, they're not pricey, like. I went well to, because it was toy wrapped onto the headset. That broke, but I have a felt crud on now and it's doing fine. Hmm. Gee, you wear a baseball cap, Dan, don't you? Yeah, a lot of times I do. Like you can get them in the baseball caps. They're a bit more expensive than the normal thing, but just put a baseball cap on your head, headphones, all that, you're done. Yeah. Whereas the, the one I have is the the bit that sticks on the thing that sticks onto your headset, which because like even with the baseball cap, like my one is, it sticks out. It's it, it's it's bigger. You keep knocking it or whatever, but with the hat, you put a baseball hat on and there's nothing sticks out of it. Just, you have your peak and you have normal baseball cap and it has all the, the things in it. Feel you on now, right? I'm done. Have them all done? Yep. All the missions completed. I'm just uh, about to drop off the last load. So we should be making money on this one. Uh, yep, I would should. We'll soon find out. See if you've missed the field somewhere. Mm hmm. Contract on field 15. 
so you can cash all the bail and what ones in, so... Yep. Come on. There we go. There you go. Up to 18 grand. Nice. Oh. Put this back on the farm and... I'll take it down to field 40. 40? Yeah. You're finishing up now, are you? Or are you staying on a little bit? Uh, what is the time? Half two. Probably go until uh, three. So another half right. hour. Do you want to do, do you want to take all the hay missions? Mm-hmm. Yep. And start cutting the grass? Mm-hmm. Can do that. So at least if all the grass is cut then it means coming back later then it's just yeah. with the tether and stuff. Yep. And because that's what we were saying after like the um if we have more people on after to be worth buying a second bail or pick up bail pick up thing. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's a lot. Is there a place where all the mods are in one spot? Um, MP server, text channel. Yeah. Um, yeah. Or just is there a pin at the top? Do we have to to actually go to the actual server page and just download them from there if you need everything? But what are you short? I'm not really sure. He's probably short of quite a few because um, there's been a few updates since Dan was last done. Uh, the map for definite. Um, obviously, there's the trail, trailer pack. Uh, there's the. Yeah, if you go to placeable. the go to the general chat chat thing there, Dan. And yeah. And hit and hit the pin. <coughs> yeah. Oh, okay. And that. <coughs> then to well it takes you to rise thing and then click on that and that'll take you to server site and then you can just download them from there. I was on here this morning, Dan, and I went away for a couple of hours. I came back and I freaking put two new ones. 
to be fair i did say about them well one yeah, of them i, I didn't know way. about mm, one of them i didn't know about until you guys had said yesterday or last night you know that that the, well, I, I nearly put that on this morning myself but i said no i'd leave it off yeah and, and I, know I you said you were looking at the trailers yesterday mm -hmm. and i was like well you know the we all fucking hate the giants collision camera collision stuff that should be an option within the game itself, a toggleable option. That should be part of the game, especially when it's, the, it's their own mod. Like. Yeah. What the hell? And it's a, have, it, have it as a toggleable option. Like. Mm hmm. I mean, who doesn't want. Who wants their camera jumping every fucking two minutes? Exactly. One day I'll remember to turn the dead zones off. I think I've done it, yes. <laughs> no. <laughs> and it's only when I come into a vehicle where I'm, you know, throwing the steering round and then it's like, hang uh, on. <laughs> and, and of course, like, in multiplayer, it's, it's worse because yeah. of the fact that it's... It takes longer. Good. Mm -hmm. But yeah, you feel it with that thing going around the corners. Yeah, definitely is bad enough but no dead zone and some 900 degrees to air <laughs> especially when that thing because that does 25 mi or kilometers an hour mm -hmm. this more grass yeah i would I, I would just say yes because it's okay <laughs> miles an hour so it's like 16 miles an hour and why is it uh one and a half yeah, 20, to well, 20, 25 kilometers would be 10 would be six and we say 15 would be uh, 10, or 16 mm -hmm. would be 10, so 16, yeah. Uh, okay, I just put them in my mods folder. Okay, it's a no, normal password as always. Yeah. Fuck you guys. That's the, that's the one. Just <laughs> <clears throat> <clears throat> have to get them, ca them caps and asterisks in the right place. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Farm shows this month or next month. Shoot. Well, it's that time of year, isn't it? Yeah. Everything is. I tell you, the there's a place that I pass every day. It's a Massey Ferguson coon dealer. Yeah. There, right there, there have been no prepping balers and stuff all week. Yeah. Jeez. So farming is actually going to be starting that little bit earlier this year. Oh, they're telling you they're well. They've they've seemingly does report that they've actually been caught in grass over here. Wow. <laughs> well, you see, and there's a fodder shortage as well. Yeah, yeah. So if we because of the the heat, the heat wave, the cold spell, that we could still have a cold spell like we did last year. Mm -hmm. And I think they're kind of going well. Take advantage while it's there. Absolutely. Because. It's, you may as well get a cut, semi-decent cut now, mm -hmm. and then get a cold spell and wait till the end of April. Like, because last year they were like, will we even get enough cuts? Yeah. So, <coughs> take advantage of this, if there's grass growing in the field and it's ready to go, well, take it out. Yeah. If, it, if you end up with six feet of snow in another month, well, at least you got a cut of grass. Mm-hmm. And the, the the snow will kill the grass anyway, so you may as well get it while it's well, there. That's what I'm saying. While it's there, you may as well take it. Yep. I, I think they're kind of okay for forage, but if you've got another late start, you could run into trouble again. Mm -hmm. Now, like it hasn't been a wet, wet winter either. I don't think so. Like fields aren't waterlogged and stuff. Yeah. Which is even better. Well, yeah. More reason to go into them. You wouldn't put a machine in there, like. Yeah. 
whereas if they're some bit solid, mm -hmm. you, you'd get the machine in to take the stuff out. Yep. But it's just global warming, take it as it is. If it means that you get a cut in January and then can't cut anything till May, well, so be it. Mm -hmm. But I mean, yeah, we're like, we're getting, even looking at the weather there, like we're getting warmer temperatures than what you're getting over there. Yeah. Like we're, we've been in the teens, mm -hmm. daytime tethers. Yeah. Yeah, we haven't got, we've, the highest I think is 11 that we've had. Yeah, oh, we're kind of 10, 11, 12, 13. Yeah. Every day, like. Yes, Zach. What is that about? 40, 50 degrees? Yeah. Uh, um, I couldn't tell, you know, hang on, I'll tell you. Whereas we should be getting temperatures of around, you know, 3 degrees well, if we're lucky. Hovering, they should be hovering, yeah, I think it's, I think it's 8 degrees. I'm sure I heard somewhere you need grass mm -hmm. to grow. So we're well above that. Yeah, and we should be around about 3 degrees normal daytime temperature this time of year. You know. So... And daytime and uh, nighttime should be freezing, below freezing. But it's very rare that we dip below freezing. So 53.6 then is 12. Oh, yeah. Oh. That's what I'm saying. We're warmer than ye, like. Yeah. And I, as I said, I think, I'm sure I heard somewhere it is 8 degrees for grass, which is why you didn't go last year. So if it's 12 degrees, like it's not dropping much below weight at night. So if the grass is growing, you might as well take it out of it. Yep, absolutely. The ferment adapt to the surrounding, so if you have to do it that way, then do it that way. Okay, let's go and do that one. Get 29 out of the way. I didn't leave much room there, did I? Nope. Uh. Yeah. Kind of person parked a tractor like that in fairness. I know. Yep. That's just sad. Small. You don't do that. I actually sit here and I'm playing with the creator of it. And oh. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Uh -huh. At least you're only driving that tractor. I heard you go back to the big M. Uh, I, I'm yeah. going back to the big M in the second. It's on the So is his other one, Riverview. Yeah, it used to be called something else in the 17. What? Oh, is it called 17? Newbie. <laughs> Newbie farm. Boy, that's an ugly cardboard cut out. <laughs> as soon as he comes in, he gives out. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Mm. Oh, a McDonald's. Okay. I get a big McDonald's sign and stick it there. Yeah. Or Armored McDougal's even better. Mm hmm. Get Moondog definitely in there. <laughs> but you promised me a McDoodles. Yep. But you haven't done your work yet. So get to it. <clears throat> oh, looks like somebody mowed around here. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> yeah, but uh, that field has got to be tedded. Yeah. 
field forcing. Ten them, yeah. Twenty-nine is between thirty-six and twenty-four. I think the way up. Yeah, so I was thinking, even if we went with the square bale of Roy Hay, would still be an extra step because you have to fucking rewind draw it after you tread it. Uh huh. Whereas the silage would just be to wrap it after you've <laughs> cut it, you bale it, wrap it. Whereas the hay is tied, re re raw it, and then bale and wrap. Yeah. Yep. There's a lot more work involved with um, tedding or doing hay. hay. Right, and the hay pay out, I presume the pay hay is out more money than the contracts. Because if you mm. took all them hay contracts, they done a quick count on them yesterday and they were worth about 25 grand. Okay. Oh, there's a, there's a farmer dad. Hard at work. Oh, and there's a hedge. Also hard at work. Doing what it's meant to do, catch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Twenty-nine oh, thousand. There's a cotton field here. There's a few cotton fields around. There's a field six. There's that one. Like if we were to do that, you 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 buy as many cotton fields as you can. Like buy one, do mm -hmm. it, and sell it. Yeah. Move on oh, to the next. There's a dam. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. Would you like some free money? Um, money's always good. Why? You never went to field 28 to pick up the bales. I didn't. No. Huh. Look on <laughs> there to field 28. There is 28 from... I don't see it from They're my position. Sheep. They're all sheep. <laughs> is... If I... <laughs> I'm right in front of me basically just... Okay, I don't see them but yeah, okay. Uh, that's I can see one, two, three of them. I haven't been in there whatsoever. That's what I'm saying. Ooh. You, have, you haven't been in forever, no, so... Yeah, so all of those bales are just money now. They're all just money, yeah. Wow. What so cotton field needs to be done? <laughs> uh, we have to buy it first, and I don't think we have enough to buy it I yet. Wish. How what much is it to buy it? 31. 31 is 123,000. And we only have uh, 50 odd, I think. Yeah, we have. We don't have enough. So um, we were waiting a while for the cotton then. Uh -huh. We have a cotton harvester, which we're minding for somebody. I was going to steal it. <laughs> <laughs> So what needs to be done? There's either tedding, or you can get the uh, the auto tedding. loader and go to 28 and pick up the bales from there and take them to the sell point. Okay. Either one. Ooh. Yeah. So we mind. Uh, Sarah Scott, because I was saying we should have surely made more bales than that. <laughs> I, I, I can't believe that. That's a big field as well. So what ones did you? You did 15, you did? I did. So you done the two up by the farm, 37 and 15? Uh, I done the, um, what was it, the, the 65 and 60. 48, yeah. Yeah, and then 37. Yeah. yeah. That's the one on its own, and then 15, the one by the cell point. Yep. Yeah. As soon as I figure out how to get out of here, I'll get up there. <laughs> right, which of, um, 40. if you go down between the trees then, and then down towards field 42, is it? Yeah. And then you go out onto the road there. You go back on yourself to come back on yourself. So it's a fun, fun field. That lovely big field that doesn't have a whole lot of room to get into. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't matter which way I 
mow this because it's all going to be tedded. Yeah. Only the uh, only the um, the headland mattered. Everything else inside, fine. Just go. Yeah, it's only the it's only the headland because just to pull it out or pull it out mm -hmm. onto the field so that it doesn't end up oh. on. Where'd y'all find this shuttle shift thing at? <laughs> Um, right, found it. Oh, do you know how to use it then, you do? I'm trying to figure it out. Right, so it's... If you go into your settings... No, it's already turned it's on, I'm not checked by, to... by, by default, it's your space bar. Alright. So it's the same as drive control. Hit your space bar, change its directions. But you have to come to a complete halt, uh, stop in order for it to... Change. Ah. Um... If you want to turn it off and just drive normally, press shift space. No. Oh, sorry, Con control space. Yeah, left control. I think and everything's left control, it isn't it? You're driving normal. Yeah, never seen any, I've never seen anybody go, yeah, it's right control. It's always left control. Yeah. <coughs> uh, no. Uh, follow me, he uses right control. Ah, that's the first mod I've never ever. But there again, so I've never uses, used it. It uses Control F or ah. Shift F, depending okay. on whether you're in the vehicle you want to be followed or whether you're in the vehicle that you want following something else. Mm hmm. So, like Shift F, if you're in the following vehicle and you press Shift F, it turns it off. Yeah. Whereas to activate it, you're in the following vehicle and you press Control, right Control F. Mm -hmm. And then you can mm -hmm. change your offset and all that, and you use shift or control depending whether you're on the vehicle being followed or the followed vehicle. Yep. <coughs> and, uh... So what I was thinking of doing for version 2 was changing 41 and 42 to grass fields only. So then 3 would be grass fields. Yeah, they look my map. You know, from... Because you go four, through four, opposite the store. 41. Yeah, 42 and 42. 41. Because 40 is already a grass field. And having them all as grass fields starting out. So you can get grass yeah. missions for them as well. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's a really solid one, really. Mm -hmm. Because I'd like it if they fucking grew grass themselves as a crop, but so that it gave a complete randomization as to what might actually come up in the field. Yeah, yeah. That's so how that I thought feels, it worked originally. Like that, all feels like I'd love. To see, I know everyone gives out about sugar cane, but I'd love to see random sugar cane coming up as a mission mm -hmm. or or poplars. I'm sure there's a way of enabling it. They're probably just, you know, adding a checkbox to allow sugarcane to be a thing. But because it wasn't yeah. so well liked or received, they've disabled it in the general. Yeah, but you know, I'd like to see, like, it's fucking the end of the day, you don't have to take it. Unless they've done it like grass and it's just, uh, you know, it can't grow whatsoever. It has to have its own particular um, checkbox. Uh, maybe. Uh, so. Like I said, I, I'd like to see it. Um, cause you you don't have to do it. Mm -hmm. um, I'd like to see poplars as well popping yeah. up as a crop. Mm -hmm. right, so that's that one done. Any more down this end? This is the only thing with those, I suppose, is well, they'd all be the same. Like. If you're using hired, you'd have to use hired helpers, so therefore you wouldn't be making the money on a mission, or you need multiplayer. Mm -hmm. But I mean, that's how you get people to actually do it, because your people will do it because it's a mission. If they get pissed off, they can cancel it or choose not to do it, but you do it just to do it. Yeah. Did you manage to get going, Dan? You did? Yeah, I'm still trying to find my way to the field now. <clears throat> all right, it's a straight, straight road. Follow the main road all the way down. 
Let's see if I can find you. Where are you? Oh, is that you down there? Yeah, you, you, you've gone a bit too far. So, we use a backup a Baron there. Okay. So, what I will do though is. Uh, uh, can you drive into field 21, Dan, or are you going past that one? Uh, I'm trying to back up and do it right now. <laughs> yeah, there used to be a sign for sheep, but right took it down. Because <laughs> the sheep aren't down there anymore. But in 17, we had a sign for sheep, so you'd, you'd know what the turn it was. But there is a sign still there that tells you how fast the, the speed limit is. is. Is that still down there, yeah? Yeah, yeah. the 40 mile an hour. Uh, kilometers. No. There's a 40, it is. Uh, 80. 80 kilometers. But what I'm going to do is end my stream there, and I will carry on and go and mow some more, but 